Nintendo's most notorious personalities, Dermot Lucky Quinn, is dead. Quinn was believed to have mob ties with the Chicago South Club for many decades, but no criminal charges were ever brought against him. Police say Quinn died of a heart attack after a charity event in his five-star hotel, the Merlot. some of your stock. Figure that makes us even. Yeah, sure, of course. Take what you want. Fixes will be breathing down my neck soon. <sighs> I didn't even know Rose was dead. She should have just walked away. There's no evidence that Bloom arranged her death. Hell, Layden. You don't know that they didn't. You know, I've seen a lot of things that don't add up. City deals, voter rigging, all it takes is one good PR team to sweep that all away. After Rose died, they created that. Now, I don't know the hows and whys of it, but that code is dangerous. Something about... I couldn't make much sense of it, but it was something about Bell or something. Bellwether? Hmm. That's what he wanted. You gotta burn that code, man. The rest of it, I don't care what you do with it. You know, Aiden, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about Clara. So am I. Well, this whole thing is shit, no matter how you cut it. Careful, Aiden. When the lights go out, bad things tend to happen. Shocking footage has surfaced implicating Mayor Rushmore in the murder of a woman, Rose Washington. The woman was a former CTOS employee reported missing over a year ago. Mayor Rushmore has refused to comment, but a statement released by City Hall claims the footage is a fake made by the hacker group DedSec in order to discredit the mayor. T-Bone? 
there I am, waiting for my train when the lights go out. I guarantee you that's just the start of it. Damien has full access. Over my dead body? I'm not gonna let my CTOS baby get jumped up by that wackadoodle. There's a weak point he won't know about. Now get over there and shut it down. That'll end his joyride quick and pronto. I'll call you once I'm in. Nice to have you back. I do like being you. with the Chicago South Club for many decades, but no criminal charges were ever brought against him. Police say Quinn died of a heart attack after a charity event in his five-star hotel, the Merlot. Locked us out. I need him disconnected fast. Well, shit. I got one idea, but last time I did it, people died. If we don't do it, people will die. What do you got? The whole network's tied to a satellite. Runs as kind of a safety valve to CTOS. I got a homemade virus. A real mean motherfucker. You gotta install it from three separate points. What does it do? It'll shut down your man. That's for damn sure. This could get ugly. You don't know the half of it, amigo. Call me when they're installed and we'll get it done right. Did you really think you could stop me so easily? I'm disappointed. I took you for someone more clever, but I'm forced to see you're like everyone else. Ah, the silent treatment. You'll leave me an emotional wreck. And who knows what I'll do in such a state. <laughs> Come on, Aiden, impress me. What will you do now? Throw me off my game? Come on. You can do better. Damien's screwing with the navigation. 
Carlos trying to slow me down. Nothing's wrong with this location in time. Thank you. 
I'm in good with the higher ups. Dropping the hammer. that opinion polls show that most people find the CTO asked to be safe? That's PR for you. Wonder how they'll swing this one.
advised, a patrol SUV has been sent to the suspect's location. Done. Your viruses are in. All right. We're in it now. Do you head back to that weak point? Right where we started. Now it'll open up for you like a lady's... Uh, never mind. You'll have a clear line to the satellite, and that's what's important. Okay, clear line to the satellite. You say that's the safety valve? And a little more. Once you're inside, you pull the trigger. Lights out, Aiden. And if we're lucky, and I'm as clever as my CV says, you'll get a lock on Damien's location. That's all I want.
you know what you're doing. You're killing the laws to CTOS. Enjoy the show. Give us 30 seconds. For what? 30 seconds inside CTOS, we drop in our code. Then, when the system reboots, DeadSec will control the machine from inside. We will correct what boom is broken. 30 seconds is all we need. 30 seconds, no one knows? Our little secret? We will be the watchdogs. No. I'm tired of all the noise. We will not forget this. to a satellite from here, T-Bone's virus will reboot the entire system. It'll stop Damon. I'm gonna find him. Damn stubborn. Quinn's dead. You got your sister back, and Clara? She stabbed you in the back. She helped kill your precious Lena. You know it's true. What about you? Some might blame you for Lena's death. I wonder who would think that, huh? But why stop there? Perhaps we should blame you. As I recall, the Murloc job was your plan. I blame myself every day for the plan, for meeting you, for not stopping you when I had the chance. I don't make that mistake anymore. I see a problem, I step in. Oh yes, the vigilante. I've read your headlines. You're the only problem I see now, and I'm coming for you.
Remember when you and I first decided to pool our talents? The schemes we were planning? <laughs> we had so much drive, but never like this. Look outside. We've taken down a goddamn city! Now I'm spending my final hours standing on the Widow's Walk. That's what they call the Lighthouse Lookout. The Widow's Walk. Did you know that? I didn't. Seems fitting. Everything reeks of conclusion. Come on. Surprise, surprise. You got a speech, Damien? Anything you want to say? They know who I am now. That's it? That's all you got? Hey, fuck you. Look at you. You plowed over people to get to a mob boss. You think you're absolved because your cause is what? Noble? You played me. That's what this is about. I played you! Clara is as much your fault. So is your niece. That's why you sent your family away, right? They know what you are. You play a beautiful game, but sometimes you still lose. Blah, blah, blah. Jesus, you guys talk a lot. What are you doing here? Sorry, pal. New contract. Kick it over. What? Come on, kick it over. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, you guys take things far too personally. That's your problem. That's why this went wrong. There's lessons to be learned here, fellas. Up, 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 phone two. Give it to me. Come on, hand it over. I don't know what Damien wanted in those final moments. Death, I suppose. I thought I could fix the little girl's death, but instead it led to all of this. Exposed lies, corrupted kings, a broken city. And me, changed man. I don't look back anymore. I don't regret. I look forward. Everything is connected, and I'll use that to expose, to protect, and if necessary, to punish. Once again, Mayor Rushmore is dead. Police are not revealing any information. The leaked documents found extensive corruption and deep ties between the mayor and the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor kill himself over this exposure, or was he executed? Bloom Director of Public Relations, Charlotte Gardner, has issued a statement regarding the recent CTOS troubles. We knew all along that our CTOS network would be a target for hackers of all strengths and skills. 
It's been an excellent proving ground to demonstrate how robust our system really is. We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks, and in some cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could be gained. Your personal information remains secure. Our CTOS network is restored to full operations. In a world where we want to spend more time with loved ones, be active in our communities, have safer, healthier homes and cities, Bloom Industries listen to you and your needs. We are embarking on a global journey. We want the world to be a community. CTOS 2.0, focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. CTOS 2.0, making smart cities even smarter. Up next, an interview with a woman who claims to know the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. Renowned child psychologist Yolanda Mendez is with us. Dr. Mendez, your story is extraordinary. You actually know Aiden Pierce, the man we know as the vigilante. Tell us how that came about. I met Mr. Pierce through the family, his sister. This was a surprise to us. We couldn't find any information about him at all. It's great that you've come forward. You were treating her son for trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But that's how you met Aiden Pierce. What's he like? It's impossible to say for certain what he's really like. He masks his personality, and he's very good at it. Is he? It isn't like someone playing poker. This is a very smart man who is looking to gain the upper hand in every situation. And you're writing a book. Yes, I am. It's a book about the whole experience. A study on Mr. Pierce. I really wanted to explore this complex man's mind. I'm sure it'll be a fascinating read. Dr. Mendez, thank you. Dead sick has had enough. Our warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Our reputation has been attacked by weaklings such as default. Heed our final warning. There will be a reckoning. We are vigilant against the Watchers. We are capable. We are unstoppable. We are at war. While a statement from the Commissioner's Office acknowledges the recent decline in criminal activity, the vigilante known as the Fox is only given the slightest praise for his crime-fighting efforts. An anonymous source told our reporters that members of the police department are more enthusiastic about the vigilante than they are allowed to publicly disclose. With Chicago still reeling from the shocking revelations of Rose Washington's murder and Mayor Rushmore's subsequent death, there has been little appetite for politics or elections. One name that's been floated about is Bloom's VP of Communications, Charlotte Gardner. Her supporters insist Ms. Gardner will restore integrity and trust to a city that sorely needs it. City officials are picking up the pieces from the shocking chaos brought on by a massive CTOS malfunction. The city experienced major power outages, bridge disruptions, and thousands of dollars in damages. While CTOS is back online, many are raising questions about the safety features needed to run a complex system in a major city. I'm bleeding here. You? I'm holding up. I got one last bone for you to chase. Maurice finally gave in, then suddenly he was all talk. I'll give you a location, the rest you can work out yourself. That's business, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's all business. Jordy's like that. Tidy fixer. Keeps the loose ends clean. Maurice is one of his loose ends. And he's ultimately my problem. He's the one who shot my car. Killed my niece. I want to say we're different, but I don't know anymore. How many people have I hurt? Killed? Who deserves to die? Who decides that?
throw some loose ends. <laughs> I know you'd be back. Guys like us, we don't know when to stop. It's done. You're the last. <laughs> There is no last. You're in it now. I warn you. These guys, they're like nothing you've ever seen before. <laughs> you, you fucking think it's over? No. But now they have something to fear. What the fuck? What's wrong with you, man? Huh? You're fucked! You get that? We're both fucked! Fucking show me! Come on. Huh? Make you sleep better at night. Kill the guy that killed your niece. Good for you, you selfish fuck! Yeah, I deserve it. But ain't gonna change anything. Nothing ever changes. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. I know it. Maurice is living his own private hell. He's a victim in all of this. And I've seen enough death. He's gonna get a second chance. We both are. Chicago setting the standard, we are proud to announce an expansion into other major cities across the country and around the world. There's no better way to bring the city right to your doorstep. Look for CTOS 2.0 in 